Hey everyone, HOC's Hockey Director Keith Murray here with another issue of Talking Hockey. Today I'm out here with two of our head instructors, Dave Purcell and Josh Dixon. Hopefully, like us, you're finding some time to get outside on the natural ice. Today we're going to give you an example of some puck handling progressions you can work on. Whether you're on the outdoor ponds and rinks, back in the arenas, or even in your basement or your garage. Dave and Josh are going to demonstrate these progressions. Four quadrants, four quadrants involving your skates what we call one glove, two gloves, skating eights, and then random pucks. So it works like this. First one that Dave and Josh are going to be doing uh, is the four quadrants, and uh, they're going to tap their sticks, one, two, three, four, to show you what I mean. One, and then two, and then three, and then four is way over on their back end, and then three, and two, and one, and now I'm going to call out random numbers. So they're at one, four, Three, two, four, three, one. Good job, fellas. All right. And the next one, they're going to drop uh, one of their gloves down on the ice. And staying still, they're just going to simply move the puck around the glove clockwise, counterclockwise, as follows. Here we go. Now, as they're puck handling, just a couple of comments. Sometimes we see uh, coaches that are telling the kids all the time, keep your head up, keep your head up, keep your head up. The most important thing is actually keep your eyes up. And if you have to look down at the puck, that's okay, but look right back up again, keep those eyes up. All right, nice job, fellas. Uh, David and Josh have their two gloves on the ice, about a meter apart, and they're simply gonna make a figure eight around the gloves, again, while, while in a perfectly still position with your skates. Again, they're trying to keep their eyes up, soft hands, around and around and around and around we go. Awesome. Now they're going to change their gloves and they're going to put them uh, so they're facing both. And they're actually going to be moving a little bit. They're just moving up and back as they puck handle through the gloves again in a figure eight. And once again, eyes are coming up. All right, pause for a second there, fellas. Um, a trick a coach can use with the kids while they're doing this is raise your fingers and have them yell out how many fingers you are holding up, which forces them to keep looking at you instead of focusing on the puck. So we're gonna do that just for a, a little bit here where the fellas are gonna be puck handling and I'm gonna be flashing fingers for them. Here we go. One. One. Two. You got the idea. There we go. Perfect. All right. The next uh, progression is the gloves are going to be a little further apart. And uh, Josh and David are actually going to be skating the figure eights. They're going to be protecting the puck as they go around the corner. And here we go. Nice job, fellas. Alrighty, uh, if you want to put your gloves on, that would be awesome. And then we'll finish up these progressions just with uh, David and Josh just randomly skating in tight quarters. Uh, we're going to space the pucks out a little bit so the pucks become objects. And they're going to focus on keeping their eyes up, soft hands, quiet stick, and here we go. All right, nice job, fellas. These puck handling progressions, as I mentioned earlier, can be practiced anywhere. The idea is to practice them. That's how you're gonna get better. It's also gonna become fun doing it. And ultimately, you'll have more fun playing because you're getting more skilled. So uh, good luck with it, give it a go. Um, once again, looking forward to seeing everybody up north in the summer of 2021. Thanks for checking out another episode of Talking Hockey. See you next time.